And everybody, let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to focus our attention on uh, the um, individual words this morning. And I'd like to go through a, a series of uh, people's names and uh, who the Lord brought up. And if your name is not mentioned, please go through these uh, specific verses to see if they apply to you. Um, it doesn't necessarily just have to uh, apply to the individual named. I think the purpose of these individual words, the naming these people, is to increase their faith and the listener to this video's faith. Some situations, as you know, in these individual words are people are not mentioned, but circumstances, or, or, or I'll say someone needs to hear. And so it's very important that everybody go through and listen to the entirety of the video and share with those who you think um, need to hear this also. Also, I would like to say that I'm going to go through a series of these individual words over the next few days. So uh, for those who are seeking to want a word or anything in that way, um, be listening for the words over the next week as well. So the first one comes up as the person who's listening to this video's name is Rose or your name or some so association with a rose. Uh, Joshua 1-2 is your Bible verse. The message of direction will come when the end of something else takes place. So we see in Joshua 1-2 that Moses had died and the Lord spoke to him. So there was a death of Moses and then the Lord began to minister through Joshua. And we can apply that principle in every, every area of our lives as well. Many times, oftentimes, the Lord wants to uh, begin something, but something else has to end. The next person is Anna, or Anne. 2 Samuel 17, 27 to 29. When you arrive, provision will be met. So Anne, 2 Samuel 17, 27 to 29. When you arrive, wherever that is, provision will be met, but you have to arrive there. Uh, Jessica, person that's named Jessica, Proverbs 22, 1 and 2 is your Bible verse. A Tim or Timothy, Esther 9, 1. The month of Adar. This word came up for someone else too. So other people can, if they, if this applies, this is already being, is something that the Lord's already showing you between, it's the month of Adar, which is in the Jewish calendar, fe between February and March. Esther 9.1, something is going to take place there. That's your Bible verse. There's a Sarah Psalm chapter 20. Sarah, Psalm chapter 20. And then um, anybody that's related to the two letters, T, T, again, that came up. Leviticus 16, 8 to 10. You have two of the same. The Bible, it's talking about in Leviticus 16, 8 uh, to 10, talks about sacrifices. And there's going to be, there's two goats that are mentioned in that, the context of that scripture. And one is used for one thing, and the other is used for something else. But neither are kept by the individual that's using them. So you have two of the same one. The one is the Lord's of the same. One is the Lord's, and the other uh, must be let go. Then someone needs to hear First Peter 4, 6. Living to God according to the Spirit does not stop people from judging you according to the flesh. A lot of times people think if they live more for God than the, uh, the attacks and the, the sorrows of this world will disappear. In fact, the opposite is true. Living, 1 Peter 4, 6 tells us that living to God according to the Spirit does not stop people from judging you according to the flesh. Someone else needs to hear uh, that they have a, there's someone who has a smooth stone with the word strength on it, engraved on it. Haggai 1.8 is your verse. 
someone who has a stone that has strength, the word strength, written on it or etched in it. Haggai 1.8. And the first, the phrase in 1.8 is go up. There is a northern direction you must go to start this work. Its purpose is for God to be pleased and glorified. So someone who has a stone, a smooth stone, with the word strength on the stone. Your word is Haggai 1.8. And the emphasis is go up, go north. There is a northern direction you must go to start this work. And its purpose is for God to be pleased and glorified. And then someone needs to hear Hosea 14.9. Hosea 14.9, then someone else needs to hear Jonah 3.3, 3. your Nineveh is, it, your Nineveh is a great city three days from you, however that applies. See these words, there's other words that are already uh, ministering to you, this is not the first word of something. For those listening to this video, you need to understand that, that these are already confirming something else that God is already talking to you about. This should not be the first word. So if you don't understand it, then it doesn't apply to you. It only applies to those to whom it's already um, ministering in other words. And anytime I actually send a Bible verse to someone and they're not sure exactly what it means, that's the same idea too, that God is already doing something in you. Look at that word that is sent to you, that I send you, as a part of something else that God is doing, already doing. So the Jonah 3.3, 3, your den of it is, is, is a great city three days from you. So what, however your Nineveh applies in that situation, Jonah was obeying God to go to Nineveh um, after he had been... Uh, thrown up on the, the shores of Nineveh. He now listened to the Lord. But it was three days from that point, and it was a great city. However that applies, someone else needs to hear Mark 15, 1. Their counsel is in order to bind you. Someone's counsel, they're discussing things about you, however that applies to you in your life, to bind you. It's not to help you. Mark 15, 1. And then someone else, lastly, um, someone else needs to hear uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 1. You are a boss. Someone is wasting your product or being what you hi and not being what you hired them to be. Someone is wasting um, your product, the stuff that you sell. You're a boss. And they're wasting the, your efforts to... <clears throat> to see benefit in your own life and that your product that you're trying to sell is being wasted by someone in your business. Beware of that. Luke chapter 16, verse 1. God bless you guys. Have a great day.